50% to 75% snowbirds not returning to Mexico. Jerry Brown here with Jerry Brown Travels. Lori here. Well, today we want to give you an update for this winter here in uh, Mexico. We have heard that 50 to 75% of the snowbirds are not going to be coming back to Mexico. They're afraid of it here because they're afraid of the virus. And so uh, when I say snowbirds, what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the people that come down here typically for four to six months. And uh, they could be here in this area in Lake Chapala, but also throughout Mexico that this 75% of people are staying away from Mexico because of the COVID virus. And it could be trailer parks at the beach. It could be people that come down and have their own houses at the beach or maybe rent a condominium there. And so it's around Mexico that we're getting this report that people are definitely playing it safe by not visiting here for this winter. Well, the United States has put out a uh, travel warning and I definitely recommend if you plan on traveling into Mexico or anywhere actually in the world, check with the uh, travel warnings that uh, they're recommending. Sometimes they're a little conservative, and uh, but it's better to be safe than star sorry. So check that out for your safety. Well, Jerry, I want to correct you. The snowbird, they don't afraid of the Mexico, but they are afraid of the virus. Even they dry and they stop at the hotel, thing like that. Don't know the hotel to be clean enough to be safe. That's where they they scare. Is that correct? Yeah, I think there's all that <laughs> considerations, you know. Um, so a lot of people, basically, the bottom line are going to hold off this year and they're not going to be coming back to Mexico. And it's not only Mexico because the virus is all over the world. And so like us, as an example. Yeah, like us, we don't plan to traveling either. We pl plan to stay home. Yeah, because it's too risky for us. We don't want to take the chance. We're waiting, you know, patiently. We figure now maybe about a year, the vaccine will be, you know, uh, implemented and it'll be m more widespread around the world and so we'll have more uh, uh, cases and we'll have a little more information about it we don't want to be the first ones to uh, get the you know vaccine we're going to wait till other people experiment with it but uh, you know at our age you know these are valuable years and to skip a year of not being able to come to maybe a place like you love and have been coming over the years, it's very difficult. And uh, uh, and it's difficult for not only us, but also for you to uh, have to just change your whole plans and maybe you are gonna be sitting in the snow and, 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 and you don't wanna do that. But is it worth your life, you know, to get the virus? The other thing that's happening down here is the dengue fever is oh, spreading. Oh yeah, dengue fever. And so uh, what's going on in that area, a lot of people are getting sick, very, very sick. You know, it's almost like uh, three weeks, you know, that they're, you know, really in bad, sick, fever. So that's another thing that's going on here. So it's not only the coronavirus, but the Gengay fever is uh, really uh, how do you say very it's spreading and there's yeah. just a lot more people that are getting it well some of the people have asked questions and that's what this segment of the video is going to be about it's going to be about I've asked you to give us submit some questions that you want to know uh, about the area or travel and safety and so here are some of the questions one of the ladies that uh, asked me about transportation and if, what about the transportation here in in this area lake chapala area well there is public transportation she's 72 years old 
she wants to move down here in two more years and so she uh, is concerned she doesn't want to buy a car and that's smart because cars are expensive you don't need to have a car down here we have regular local buses you can figure about 50 cents us to take a bus from ahihi to chapala and that's uh, about a five mile uh, bus ride away and then if you go in the other direction about another five miles you're looking at about another 50 cents on the public bus you can take a taxi and that same distance of a taxi is probably going to cost you more like about five dollars to take that uh, uh, take that taxi ride we have ubers here and so uh that price you would get directly from them so yes there is the other thing is that transportation throughout mexico the large buses are running so you can you know go across the country by you know commercial buses so uh, transportation is good here warning warning about your rent one of the other things that i want to say that this happened to me this week i ran into two ladies that are down here and this really concerns me because they were asking me about how much rent they can afford to pay well this one lady, she told me she had $1,300 for rent. No, yeah, $1,300 to live on. And she was looking at a place to rent for $600. And I told her, I says, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. Not at all, because you're going to spend all of your money on your rent. You're not going to have much money to live on. $1,300 is very, very low to live down here. So I recommended her to find a place for about $275, $250 to $300 a month. And then that would be a proper amount. The old rule of thumb is that you spent 25% of your income on rent. And definitely I would recommend that for her. So be careful when you come down here and you want to spend yeah, you want a nicer place and everything, but if you use up all your money on rent, you're not going to be able to do anything. You're not going to be able to have enterta any entertainment. So be careful about that. Very, very concerned about that. Another question is that coming into Mexico, is Mexico requiring them to quarantine, Lori? No, you don't have to be quarantined them yourself yeah so you don't have to do that 14 day quarantine well somebody else wanted to know if they wanted to come to mexico would they need to provide a certificate showing that they have had the uh COVID test showing that they are negative to fly into mexico and the answer is no no they're not asking for that. The other question is about flying into Mexico. Will they need to have a special permit? Is there something that they maybe have to have that they need to prepare for before they come into the country? And the answer to that is? No. And the reason why, you can get your visa if you're flying in right on the plane. Very simple. Mexico has opened up. They want the tourists to come back in here. And so that has to deal with tourism. Now, in our particular case, we're, t we're talking about the first part of this video is snowbirds. But those same requirements apply to the snowbirds as the tourists here. Well, the United States government has a warning, a travel warning here in Mexico. And they're basically saying, don't travel because of the virus. In some parts of Mexico, there are crimes that are going on, but for us, that's not that big of a deal. When we hear about the crimes, is an example, in Mexico, don't let that freak you out. It doesn't freak us out, because the way we think is that we our, our, our children are in California. Now, we hear about crimes in California, even close to their house where they live. But that 
is doesn't stop us to go visit them. But this year, because of the coronavirus, that is what that definitely has stopped us to go there. So the same thing with Mexico here. You're always going to hear about crimes in Mexico and everywhere. And so don't let that part of it freak you out, but really be concerned. The real uh, thing to be concerned about is the virus because that has no boundaries. It has nothing, you know, uh, to do with gangs or anything like that, you know, bang. And that can just catch up with you. And you can't even see them either. Yeah. So, uh, that's sort of our advice and that's the way we do it. So we're not going to be traveling to California. We're not going to be seeing our family this year. We're not going to be there, be able to go there for Thanksgiving and Christmas and, and all the holidays because we want to protect ourselves. And that's so important to us. And that's what we want you to do is protect yourself. Nobody going to love you like you love yourself. Yeah. Okay, so now you've booked a flight, you decided you want to come here, and you want to take that chance. What they will do is they're probably going to give you a, a, a little temperature test. They're going to put a little, you know, temperature uh, thermometer on you to test that. Uh, they're going to be looking at your, you know, appearance to see if you're sniffling or anything like that. You know, they're going to give you some hand sanitizers, and they're going to let you into Mexico. So, but be smart, be smart. Wear your mask, wear your mask. Yeah, wear your mask, yeah. And wash your hands, don't get lazy, don't get complacent, keep doing these things. Um, uh, social distance, you know, keep social distancing away from each other like that. Uh, but in the case of Lori and I, we don't quite have to do that because, you know, we're okay. We <laughs> sleep the same bed. <laughs> we breathe the same room. <laughs> yeah. so, so check with your airline. Make sure you can, uh, you know their policy about cancellation. Check with the hotel. Know their policy about cancellation. Uh, check with your travel medicine. See if they, you're covered for the virus. We recommend getting that because if you come down here and you get sick, what are you going to do? Hey, they are going to make you quarantine in that particular case. They're going to put you in that room. You're going to be in there for 14 days. Okay. Now you're going to need a doctor. The hotel probably will help you get, you know, a doctor for you like that. You're going to have to pay for the doctor, the care, the medicine, whatever you need. You're going to be in that hotel. So, check on the uh, uh what you're going to need that's where travel medicine is very important uh we get it every year when we travel internationally and so and we've used it and it's worked out pretty well for us uh just be safe be careful and also hey Lori, we want them to ask more questions right yeah don't forget to ask the question or Give a thumb up or subscribe. If you didn't subscribe yet, if you want to see the more video, please subscribe. And the question is most important. Jerry will get up early in the morning and then answer your question. Yes. And so, but we'll make a video and try to answer some of your questions. The other thing, when we say subscribe, we're supposed to have a bell. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, and we have the bell, but we always forget to use it. <laughs> so, so do the ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, here my bell. Bing, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> hit the notification, hit the bell, and you will receive a video absolutely free from us to you. So uh, stay healthy, stay happy. Woo, it's cold. You see, I have a lot of clothes. Of course, I'm, I'm the cold person anyway, so it's just a little bit of cold. It's cold for me. Okay, so the new today is um, Lake Yapala. The side of the is open. It's uh, open circle. <laughs> no, no. Okay, just start over. <laughs> How I say that? <laughs> open circle. It been closed for so long. Just open today is on November 22nd.
2020. No, 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 I can't okay. see it. Okay, here, come <laughs> Open your eyes and you talk. Yeah, I, if you want me to smile, my eye was closed. Oh, okay. <laughs> if I don't smile, my eye was open. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't go. We have more video to show. But if you have to go, please come back. <laughs>